And we have arrived in Malacca. Time to get off the bus and find our way to the old city center because this doesn't look really nice. in the bus terminal here in Marca trying to find a taxi or a grab which is an online taxi that will bring us to the old city center because we are outside of the old city center of course Let's see from terminal Bursapado Sulatan the bus terminal in Kuala Lumpur you can take a 10 or 12 ringgit bus every half an hour or so the trip to the bus terminal in Malacca takes about two and a half hours from there, I took a Grab taxi, which was 7 ringgit for a less than 10 minute drive. Very good afternoon here in Malacca. Just arrived uh, through the little India area. And uh, now we are entering the old city area, the old town area. And this is the site of the former bastion of Bastion Victoria. And here is a very little bit of the old city wall so there's nothing really left here but just outside the fence here of course this really big church the white church that has been here for uh, 170 years there also is a canal a canal a canal with a lot of shops let's have a quick look before we walk into the old area here the area is really clean there's a lot of uh, shops here, shops and restaurants along this uh, clean canal. Very old buildings. Let's uh, have a quick look. We'll walk back here later. We'll walk to the old part first, I guess. Dutch Harbour Cafe, Riverside Cafe, Heritage Hotel. Oh, nice. Wayfarer Guest House. I'm going to walk for a bit. It will be hot, but um, yeah, that's okay used to that by now that's a little to a river cruise you can take if you want <laughs> so you don't have to visit Amsterdam for all Dutch buildings there's quite a few here and you'll have water as well this canal looks like any other canal in Amsterdam it's slightly wider even with the buildings side, right up to the riverside there that one looks absolutely amazing so we are in front of one of the oldest churches in uh, colonial southeast asia this is the christ church of malacca the angelican church angelican which is next to the city hall which is on the side where the city hall is dutch and the church is apparently English. So, <laughs> they have motorized backjacks here. That's uh, <laughs> okay, that's something. Um, the feeling I get here is a mix between uh, colonial India. I've been to a city, a town that looks like it. I forgot the name, I'll, I'll look for it. We can do it. Also, um, because there's a, little, a lot of green here. This now is similar to the old colonial town of Samarang in Indonesia. This building right here is said to be one of the oldest buildings in uh, Southeast Asia. Colonial buildings, if not the oldest. This fountain, right in front of the old city house and the church, is erected by the people of Malacca in memory of a great queen, 1904. So much to see here. Uh, I guess we're going to take the main street here. Yeah, there's a lot of old buildings. Look, it's all old city center. Absolutely amazing. And there's even more, but uh, we're going to do the tourist route first, I guess. Jonkers Walk. Jonkers Walk is not located in Jonkers Street, as the official street name nowadays is Hangjibat Street. 
Jonkers is derived from the word Jonkheer, a nobility rank in Dutch. Where Jonkers was a prominent figure in Malacca during the Dutch colonial time, Hang Jibat was a close companion of Hang Tuach and is best known for his rebellion against the Sultan of Malacca. His mausoleum is located towards the northeast of here. And in one of the side streets uh, where we are now, unfortunately, without any trees, there's a really old mosque, at least parts of it are really old. It's this one. Let's uh, grab a picture of that because that looks uh, pretty old. Look. Pretty neat. Crazy busy shop. Crazy busy restaurant, I mean. Like there's no other restaurant in town. This building with those palm trees and the color scheme also almost gives a Caribbean vibe. Not sure why, eh? Must have seen too much movies. It's these closed buildings that also have a lot to offer in detailing it. Tucked away in between all those nice houses here is the grave of Anka Story. And no, I don't know who that was. And yes, I will add that in the description uh, later on. This building is absolutely amazing. Look at the colors and the ornaments here. After walking around here for an hour or two, enjoying the history of mainly Dutch and English colonialism, I have to make one major remark though. It's not a remark really, it's a complaint, and you have probably already noticed it by now, although I tried to remove as many parts that contain the continuous stream of noisy cars. That's exactly the problem. This street should not be a street where motorized through traffic is a thing. It's a one-way street for a reason, and even then there are basically no sidewalks for the masses of tourists that walk around here. And there is street side parking as well, oh my. This should absolutely be a car-free zone for at least the hours that tourists are here. This old building here almost looks like it's uh, Art Deco, but I think it's uh, older than that. I'm not sure what it is, let's find out. New Men Malacca, I think it's a restaurant nowadays. Temple stage of Cheng Hung Teng Temple. What well, is only this stage? It belongs to this one across the street. Followed by a little market area. You can buy hand fans. <laughs> Much more quiet here. The main road is indeed the one we started at today but not less attractive. This is absolutely the more laid-back side street you can take instead of Jonker Street. Let's see. We have a temple, a mosque, another temple, another temple. Fork to the river again. And we are now on the other side of the city square. In the show. It's we started our walk here at uh, Jonkers, Jonkers, right here, about two hours ago. We're now going to take a left, right into the sun. So I'm going to cross it again to make sure I'm not melting today. There is an old Dutch house. It says here in the house. It's half Dutch, half English. Gravy baby. Mm. It's a whole row of classical colonial Chinese buildings like they have in Indonesia as well. Exactly the same style as this one. Not sure of the street name, but we found another back alley which is bambooey. Looks really green like this.
Malaysia, 30 states of coffee. A lot of hostels here. Coca-Cola. Ah, they have cold drinks here. If you like this video, do like and leave a comment as I would like to hear from you. A sub is highly appreciated as well. You can now also leave a super chat or super thanks through YouTube, which allows me to buy that much needed ice drink when walking. These trees are planted by ambassador to Malaysia, Chinese ambassador to Malaysia, governor of Malacca and the Chinese ambassador to Malaysia eight, nine years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago. Because this is the place where General Cheng Ho arrived in Malacca in 1409, 1405. With this stop at the bridge here, this little walk through Malacca comes to an end. It's been a nice afternoon, but I have to head back as the buses are limited because of the national holiday. I'll be back here in the future, pretty sure.